Right. In this video, I'll be working the 2021 past paper, just the equilibrium question. So it's question two, part C, 2021. So it says, when a 0 0.218 mole sample of hydrogen iodide was heated in a flask of volume B, dm cube, the following equilibrium was established at 700 Kelvin. So the equation is for the decomposition of hydrogen iodide to give hydrogen and iodine. So it says the equilibrium mixture was found to contain 0 0.023 mole of hydrogen. And it wants us to calculate the number of moles of iodine and the number of moles of hydrogen iodide in the equilibrium mixture. So this is a typical equilibrium question where they give you the starting, the initial amount of the reactants and something at equilibrium. All right, so for this type of question, what we normally do is construct our ice table. So for the reactant hydrogen iodide, the initial amount of it was 0 0.218. So we have 0 0.218 moles of hydrogen iodide. So this is the initial phase before the reaction starts. So that means we would not have any hydrogen being produced or any iodine. So if you are familiar with this table, you know there will be a change. And that will be minus 2x. And that's because there is two mole of hydrogen iodide. And then as you know, the products would increase by plus X. X is representing the reactants and products. The two here is because it's two moles of hydrogen iodide. So it is two X. It's minus because as the concentration of the, as the reaction progresses, the amount of hydrogen iodide is going to decrease. So the minus sign is to show that it is decreasing. Likewise, the positive sign is to show that as the reaction progresses, the amount of hydrogen is going to increase and the amount of iodine is also going to increase. All right, so the change is going to be minus two X for HI plus X for H2 and I2. Then at equilibrium, they told us that we have 0 0.023 moles of hydrogen. So at equilibrium, we have 0 0.023 moles of hydrogen. Now, both hydrogen and iodine is just X. So if hydrogen at equilibrium is 0 0.023, then iodine is also 0 0.023. At equilibrium, at equilibrium now for your reactant, it's the initial minus the change. So that would have been 0 0.218. minus, all right, x is 0 0.023. Therefore, 2x would be two times x, which is 0 0.023. So that would be 0 
four six. And you should end up with zero point one seven two. So this is for HI. This is for H2. And this is for I2. So at equilibrium, the number of moles of HI, no, of I2 would be 0 0.023. And for HI, it would be 0 0.172, right? Moving along. All right, so this question, it says, write an expression for Kc for the equilibrium. So we know that Kc would be equal to the products. We use square buckets because it is concentration. It's the concentration of H2 times the concentration of I2. divided by the concentration of HI squared. From the balance equation, there was a two in front of HI. So the coefficient in the equation becomes the exponent here. So that's the expression. And so to calculate Kc, we're just going to plug in the, the values into this equation. All right, so for Kc, we just plug in the answers from up top into the equation and we get our answer. Now it's Kc, so of course, it should be concentration inside the bracket. But if you notice, these answers are the moles of each reactant and product at equilibrium. So they told you that it was V dm cube, right? But as you can see here, the units would cancel each other. So KC, it does not have a unit. So that is the reason we don't need to have a volume. So you might have been looking for a volume where they put V, dm cube, put Kc, the units cancel in this instance. So you just use whatever you are given at equilibrium. So if you should see a question like this again, you don't need the volume, the units cancel each other. All right, so you just work with what you are given at equilibrium which is what I did here. Right, so that should be your answer. Right. Assuming you know to work with the units, well, you can watch the other videos where I work with the units, all right? But what is up here would cancel the units down here. All right, continuing. And the last question, which is for one marks, it asks it ask us to calculate the, the value of Kc for the equilibrium of the reaction. 
Now, all they did was switch the equation. So now it's H2 plus I2 to give 2HI. So now KC is equal to HI squared divided by H2 times I2. So, so we're basically flipping our equations. So now it's 2.96 times 10 to the minus two divided by 5.29 times 10 to the negative four. Right, so it's now HI over H2I2. And that's it for one marks. So this was it for equilibrium on the 2021 paper, right? If you have any question, leave it in the comment section. Again, if KC does not have a unit, they cancel each other out. All right, let me just work the units. So up here, it would have been mole squared. Let me just work it up here. So HI squared. All right, let me just go in details. So concentration is mole squared dm cube times moles per dm cube. And then we would divide it by moles per dm cube times moles per dm cube. And we would switch the division sign to a multiplication sign. And then everything on this side, it would flip. So instead of moles per dm cube, it would become dm cube per mole. times dm cube per mole. And then the numerators cancel, denominator. So mole cancel mole. We have dm cube here canceling dm cube. So we are not, so we are not left with any units. So when you do KC calculations, you have to calculate your units. So in this case, it does not have any units. Likewise in part three as well. All right, so that's it for this video.